the protocol prescribed. The convocation is a solemn function which is <clears throat> required to be conducted with maximum discipline, dignity and decorum and therefore the students are requested not to create noise and to maintain silence inside the auditorium during the proceedings in conformity to standards required for this program. Please avoid carrying eatables, water bottles, cigarettes, matchbox, lighters inside the auditorium. Usage of mobile phones inside the auditorium is strictly prohibited. Please keep all your mobiles switched off or in silent mode during the convocation and until return of the procession. Every candidate shall wear the robe of his or her degree and shall occupy the seats allotted to them in the auditorium. Request to maintain silence during the entire proceedings of the convocation. On the procession entering the hall, band music will be played. The candidates and audience shall rise and remain standing until the dignitaries have taken their seats on the dais. On announcement of invocation by the Chancellor, all should rise and stand. As the names of the recipient of awardees and degrees are called out, the students should one after another ascend the dais by the steps on the left, proceed to the front of the Chancellor and Chief Guest, bow to the dignitaries, obtain the awards and degrees, and descend the dais by the steps on the right and return to their allotted seats. While the Chancellor reads out the pledge, the graduating student should stand up and repeat it after her clearly and audibly. Only after the Chancellor admits them to the degree and diploma and resumes her seat should the graduate sit. For taking the pledge, only the candidates receiving degrees alone should stand up. Others shall remain seated. After the close of the convocation, the national anthem will be played and all the candidates shall stand up and continue to remain standing till the academic procession leaves the auditorium. The audience will leave the hall only after the procession leaves the auditorium. Candidates are required to maintain strict silence during the entire program. Only official photographers will be allowed to take photographs during the ceremony. The remaining graduates, all other UGs and PGs of all streams will be receiving their degrees in the afternoon session. Those graduates who have received their degrees should return the academic robes to the counter from where they have received without fail. The event will be streamed live and the relatives and guests can see the program in the link provided in our official website. We solicit your cooperation to make this function a grand success. Thank you. Jai Jai Hee
डॉक्टर विलासिनी एम डी डर्मटोलॉजी डॉक्टर श्रुति चौधरी एम डी पीडियाट्रिक्स डॉक्टर राजकीर्त जनरल सर्जरी एंड डॉक्टर नितीशा रेड्डी एम एस ओ जी प्लीज रिपोर्ट टू डॉक्टर प्रियदर्शनी षणमुगम Madhuram, 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 Madhu
Thank you. 
invocation neeralum kadaludutha nilamadandai kedilorugum seeralum adanamenathigal varada kandamidhi dekkanamum adichiranda kaavidanal thirinaadum takkasiru pirainudalum tarithanarum tilagumi அத்திலக வாசனை போல் அனைத்துலகும் இன்பமுறை எத்திசையும் புகழ் வழக்க இருந்த பெரும் தமிழனங்கே தமிழனங்கே உன் சீரிடமை திரும்பியந்து செயல் மறந்து வாழ்த்துதுமே வாழ்த்துதுமே I invite the vice chancellor to del deliver the welcome address and present the performance report of the university. A yeah, very good morning to one and all. Honorable Chancellor, Srimadhi Geetha Muthaya, Madam. Honorable Chairman, Dr. M.A.M.R. Muthaya. Respected Dr. Sudha Seshayan, Chief Guest of our 12th Annual Convocation. All the distinguished members, honorable members of the Board of Management and Academic Council, all faculty members, staff members, parents and guardians of the graduates, my dear graduates, distinguished invited guests, ladies and gentlemen. It's with my great honor and privilege to welcome each one of you on my behalf and on behalf of Seti Nadu Academy of Research and Education to this auspicious and solemn occasion of the 12th Annual Convoc Convocation of Seti Nadu Academy of Research and Education. It gives me immense pleasure to have as our chief guest today, Dr. Sudha Sashian, a topper in her postgraduate medical education, a brilliant orator, and a dynamic personality who has mastered roles with multiple talents. In a steadily progressive, brilliant career, she served as the Vice Chancellor of the Tamil Nadu Dr. MGR Medical University and has a rich administrative experience with an outstanding background in the field of medical education. The saying, a busy bee finds times for everything, is apt for Dr. Sudha Seshin as she makes judicial use of her time. As a civil surgeon, at the young age of 30, she was part of the International Editorial Board that published the revised edition of Grey's Anatomy. She was also the first publishing editor of the translated version of Encyclopedia Britannica in Tamil. Her writings in popular Tamil magazines on various spiritually oriented subjects have been highly sought after. And some of them, such as Tevara Thiruvala, are published as books. Dr. Sudha Seishian is equally dedicated to learning Kambaramayana and has since become a renowned religious orator. She is also a member of the editorial board of Virtual Tamil University, where she is involved in the preparation of a Tamil lexicon in medicine. Her accomplishments are widely recognized in all social media platforms. On behalf of the Board of Management, I once again welcome Dr. Sudha Seshain, our Chief Guest for this 12th Convocation. I congratulate our budding graduates for their hard work, their parents and guardians for the sacrifices made, and the faculty members for mentoring them to complete their studies. My special congratulations to all medal winners. It's my pleasure to share the convocation statistics. A total of 607 students are eligible for the award of degree or diploma by this university. Out of these 414 are UG students, 184 are PG students, and nine PhD students. Student toppers are awarded with medals 
ராஜா முத்தையா அவார்ட் சிகப்பி ஆட்சி அவார்ட் டாக்டர் எஸ் கே சரின் என்டோமெண்ட் மெடல் டாக்டர் கே ரோசையா என்டோமெண்ட் மெடல் அவர் யூனிவர்சிட்டி கேர் இஸ் அ வைப்ரண்ட் யூனிவர்சிட்டி திஸ் வாஸ் ஃபவுண்டட் அண்ட் கன்ஃபர்ட் த ஸ்டேட்டஸ் ஆஃப் டீம் டு பி யூனிவர்சிட்டி இந்த இயர் டூ தௌசண்ட் எயிட் வி ஆஃபர் செவன்டி அகடமிக் ப்ரோக்ராம்ஸ் இந்த த ஃபேக்கல்ட்டி ஆஃப் மெடிசன் நர்சிங் அலைடு ஹெல்த் சயின்சஸ் ஃபார்மசியூட்டிக்கல் சயின்சஸ் ஃபிசியோதெரபி ஆக்குபேஷனல் தெரப்பி லா அண்ட் ஆர்கிடெக்சர் கேர் ஹஸ் அபவுட் தௌசண்ட் சிக்ஸ் ஹண்ட்ரட் அண்ட் மோர் எம்ப்ளாயீஸ் அண்ட் த்ரீ தௌசண்ட் டூ ஹண்ட்ரட் தேர்ட்டி செவன் ஸ்டூடெண்ட்ஸ் ஃபஸ்ட் ஜெவ ஃபஸ்ட் ஜென்ரேஷன் ஸ்டூடெண்ட்ஸ் மோஸ்ட் ஆஃப் தெம் ஆர் ஃப்ரம் ரூரல் அண்ட் செமி அர்பன் ஏரியாஸ் தே மேக் அப் அ சிக்னிஃபிகன்ட் ப்ரப்போசன் அவர் ஸ்டூடெண்ட்ஸ் ஈக்குவல் ஆப்பர்ச்சுனிட்டி இஸ் ப்ரொவைடட் ஃபார் ஆல் த ஸ்டூடெண்ட்ஸ் ஆஃப் ஆல் கேட்டகரிஸ் இன்க்ளூடிங் சோஷியலி அண்ட் எக்கனாமிக்கலி பேக்வர்ட் கிளாஸஸ் வி என்ஷியூர் தட் நோ குவாலிஃபைடு அப்ளிகண்ட் இஸ் டினைன் ஹையர் எஜுகேஷன் ஃபார் வாண்ட் ஆஃப் ஃபைனான்ஷியல் ரிசோர்ஸஸ் இட் ஈஸ் வித் கிரேட் ஹானர் அண்ட் ஃப்ரைட் ஐ ரிப்போர்ட் டு திஸ் ஆகஸ்ட் கேதரிங் தட் அப் டு ஹண்ட்ரட் பர்சன்ட் ஸ்காலர்ஷிப்ஸ் ஆர் அவார்டட் டு த டிசர்விங் ஸ்டூடெண்ட்ஸ் ஆஃப் ஆல் டிசிப்ளின்ஸ் ஆஃப் கேர் இந்த இயர் டூ தௌசண்ட் டூ டுவெண்ட்டி டூ கேர் அவார்டட் ஸ்ரீமதி கீதா முத்தையா அவுட் ஸ்டாண்டிங் மெரிட் ஸ்காலர்ஷிப் வித் ஹண்ட்ரட் பர்சன்ட் டியூஷன் ஃபீ வேவர் ஃபார் எயிட்டி ஃபைவ் ஸ்டூடெண்ட்ஸ் then kumari meyyamal muttaya global merit scholarship with with 70% tuition waiver for 599 students kumari sigappi muttaya academic merit scholarship with 50% of tuition waiver for 444 students and sri ramasami muttaya talent merit scholarship with 25% tuition waiver for 62 students our university has been accredited accredited with grade A++ with 3.71 out of 4 CGPA by NAC and declared as category 1 institution by the UGC. We rank 93rd rank in the university category and 39th in the college category in NIRF ranking 2022. We are conferred with 12B status by UGC, CIRO status by DSIR, 3 star by MHRD's innovation cell, ISO ISO 9001 2015 certified ranked fourth in the country for U, U green, UI green metric diamond rating by QS I gas ranked 13th best private medical institution in India by the outlook I care ranking 2022 and 32nd best private medical institution in the India by the week hence research survey 2022 We won the C2 Tamil Nadu's Metclave Center of Excellence on its 2022 for Diagnostic Center Laboratory. Chetty Nadu Hospital and Research Institute is NABH accredited hospital. We have made it into the Asia Book of Records 2022 for most medical students reading NMC guidelines on anti-ragging simultaneously in a single venue. As regards research is concerned, CAR has established a state of art instrumentation facility for biomedical research and CPC SEA approved animal house facility for translational research. To promote quality research, CAR offers junior research fellow for full-time PhD students, post-doctoral fellowship and seed money for faculty research. Short research projects are incorporated in the undergraduate curriculum and medical graduates are encouraged to take up the ICMR short term studentship our students have come with many ICMR awards care has two institutional ethical committees human ethical committee and animal ethical committees for approving research projects our research outcome despite the covid constraints all our faculty members have actually they involved themselves in research and we have published 328 research papers in scopus and web of science index journals 17 patents have been published 3 patents and 22 copyrights have been awarded in the year 2022 a sum of 30 lakhs was provided to the faculty members as incentives for publication we have more than 100 active memorandum of understandings and during the past one year the university has signed 35 memorandum of understanding with renowned academic institutions research labs and industries Academic in- initiatives has always been the priority of the university. The syllabus is continuously updated and board of studies and academic councils 
our representation in addition to the, in addition to the medical faculty we have representations from industry see our chra is conducting a national exit test coaching where mbbs students are provided personalized coaching for the upcoming national exit test to pursue their career as post graduates we have organized 45 cmes apart from weekly cmes and cnes 68 guest lectures 25 conferences 66 national and international commemorative days four faculty development programs 65 seminars in addition to various research seminars and 34 workshops in the year 2022 our chettinadu hospital and research institute is a multidisciplinary healthcare institute with an undeterred focus on patient care and academic pursuits in the field of medicine and surgery our chhara consists of a medical college and a state of art hospital with 1590 beds for medical and surgical specialties chhara offers various healthcare services and caters to the need of over 3000 patients every day we take lead in collaborating and implementing various state and central government initiated programs to save a few dr muthulakshmi reddy maternity benefit scheme for conducting free delivery to pregnant mothers the national tb elimination program for free tb diagnostic and treatment services including drug resistance tb the district blindness control society scheme for performing free cataract and other ophthalmic procedures and the director of public health and preventive medicine chennai have provided free vaccines to the pediatric opd to carry out pre immunization under the shrimati geeta mutiya subsidized surgery scheme surgeries are performed at a subsidized price for those who are economically disadvantaged this scheme covers various surgeries from day care procedures to major surgeries more than 15000 surgeries were performed at a subsidized price since the incorporation inception of this scheme apart from the general hospital chettinadu super specialty hospital offers a world class healthcare services to all supported by best infrastructure diagnostic and treatment facilities to meet every need chettinadu rural health center is at punjeri and chettinadu urban health center is at karapakam they are upgraded with specialty services in addition to the existing 24 into 7 emergency care ip admissions procedures diagnostics pharmacy and ambulance services chettinadu free community hospital was inaugurated by our honorable chairman dr m a m i r muthaya with the aim of health care for all it caters to the health care needs of 1.75 lakhs plus patients scanning 114 villages around chettinadu hospital and research institute fcci greatly appreciated this service initiative and awarded excellence in social initiatives chettinadu simulation skills and lab is a southeast asia's largest simulation and skills center this is accredited by the american heart association as an international training center and the only one of its kind in india to score 96.8 in the aha quality assurance audit it was officially inaugurated by dr senapati krish gopalakrishnan chairman axilar ventures co-founder infosys in in 2022 as a outreach activity 556 health camps have been conducted benefiting 88887 poor, poor patients as regards post and cultural in care our students are always encouraged to participate regularly in intercollegiate inter university and state level tournaments and have brought many laurels to the institution fusion chettinad a national inter national inter university meet comprising of sports and cultural events to appreciate and reward talent from across the country was held from 5th to 13th october 2022 various exciting musical sports and fun game events and competitions were conducted and the participants won prizes worth 10 lakhs when examinations at care we ensure a fair and transparent examination system with a pass percentage of 89% for mbbs 100% for md ms courses msc courses allied health sciences 98% 98% for nursing streams 
100 percent for postgraduate diploma in clinical embryology, 100 percent for postgraduate course in physiotherapy, 100 percent for undergraduate course in law, 100 percent for postgraduate course in law for the academic year 2021 to 22. The overall pass percentage is 96 percent. Then last but not the least, our campus. It's a self-contained Wi-Fi enabled campus comprising of air conditioning, lecture halls, seminar halls, auditoria, examination halls, all departments, art of the state of the art library, hospital complex, research center, in addition for the students to enjoy food courts and then advanced IT infrastructure. We have got indoor and outdoor sports complex. In addition, we have bank, ATMs and stationery store for the benefit of the students. Then as we all know, as parents, you must be wondering about the security of our complex. Security in the complex is ensured through turnstiles, CCTV cameras, and access control at strategic locations. We take pride in its green and green, green, and green campus. Use of renewable energy sources, including solar power and windmill, water recycling, vehicle-free green zones, and cycles for in-campus mobility makes the campus eco-friendly. With all these unique features, with the, we, we thank our chairman, Dr. M. A. M. R. Muthaya, and our chancellor, Madam Geeta Muthaya, Madam, for the relentless, relentless encouragement and support in pursuing our mission of achieving excellence and eminence as a university of higher education, achieving milestones constantly. Thank you, Jai Hind. Now, I request the Chancellor to declare open the 12th Annual Convoc Convocation of Chetinada Academy of Research and Education. This Convocation of Chetinada Academy of Research and Education has been called to confer the Doctor of Philosophy, Faculty of Medicine in UG and PG, Faculty of Allied Health Sciences in UG and PG, Faculty of Nursing, Faculty of Physiotherapy, Faculty of Law in UG and PG, upon the candidates who in examinations recently held have been certified to be worthy of the same. I invite the Chief Guest, Dr. Sudha Sheshan, former Vice Chancellor the Tamil Nadu Dr. MGR Medical University, Chennai, to deliver the convocation address. Vanakkam. Madam. Chancellor of the Chetinadu Academy of Research and Education, Madam Vice Chancellor of this university, members of the Board of Management, members of the Academic Council, faculty members of the various institutions of the university, staff both teaching and non-teaching, parents of the graduates of the day, graduates, distinguished invitees, and friends. At the outset, my warm greetings to all of you and my very special congratulations to the graduates who would be conferred with their degrees in a short while from now. Kindly accept my congratulations. Convocation is a time of blossom. It is like the time when you see the first flower blossoming in a tiny sapling 
that you had planted. It gives the same joy as you see the first flower come out. And I take this opportunity to specially congratulate the parents and the guardians who have contributed to the betterment of all the graduates of the day. From now, from this moment onwards, I would restrict my communication with the graduates and not with the chancellor or the vice chancellor or the faculty members. My dear young friends, you're graduating today. You would soon be looking at the degree certificate or the certificate of honor that you would have in your hands. And you would fly with all the imagination and the creativity that you can harness. Convocation addresses are generally thought to be addresses of advice. I'm not here to advise you. And I do understand advices carry anyone, nowhere. It is out of my experience as a senior member of the discipline or the area that you have chosen for yourself that I would like to share a few thoughts which may help you in your future. Number one, I would want you to remember as members of the medical and the paramedical and of course related law and other areas, areas of professional excellence, that learning cannot stop at any point of time. I would urge you to keep your eyes and ears open. Learning does not come from textbooks. Learning does not come from e-journals. Learning does not come from a constructed material. Learning is out in the open. If only you keep your eyes and ears open, anything under the sun becomes your guru. Anything under the sun teaches you something or the other. It is this kind of learning that I would want the graduates of this day remember. Even if you happen to walk on the road for a few steps, please remember something around gives you some kind of information. And when I say learning, I also include relearning and unlearning. Madam Vice Chancellor was reeling out a lot of statistics about this particular convocation. I'm sure many of you who would be practicing different disciplines of medicine would soon be faced with a particular question that would come from the community. Some of you might be practicing pediatricians, some of you might be practicing surgeons, some of you might be practicing nurses, but whatsoever your position is. The community, the parents in the community, the students in the community, the children in the community would soon ask you one particular question. Please tell us what is the way of remembering things. This is one standard question every student puts on. I'm sure many of you would have asked the same question to your peers and the elders. How can I improve my memory power? 
When I read something, I seem to understand, but then when I close the book, it evaporates, it is volatile. Now, how do I remember? There is no drug that can increase your memory power. Please take it. There is absolutely no other drug, no chemical formulation, no kind of concoction, no midnight coffee, no midnight tea or whatever, whatever, whatever that can increase one's memory power. I'm sure the seniors here would concur with me when I tell you Commitment to memory is the only way that you can increase your memory power. I would just like to remind you of an everyday observation. Sometime in the morning when you're preparing for your exams, six o'clock in the morning, you're with your book, trying to read something. Later in the day, by seven o'clock in the evening, you're trying to recollect what you read from. You're not able to. On the other side, parallel, the same six o'clock in the morning when you were flipping through the pages, it so happened that a particular movie song trickled from somewhere probably from the neighboring apartments, it trickled in through the window or through the crevices. And the same evening at seven o'clock, your lips seem to be humming that particular song when your brain is refusing to remember what you read from your book. Now, what is the secret behind? The moment you heard the movie song, you started humming. You went for your bath, you hummed the same song. You went for your coffee, you did the same thing. And this song has got stuck to you, but the lines from your book have not got stuck to you. Commitment to the brain, commitment to the neurons, commitment to the neuronal circuit is the only way that you can increase your memory power, your concentration. And that is why we lay a lot of emphasis on learning, relearning, unlearning, and relearning. Please do not forget learning at any point of time. Point number two. I'm sure all of you are nursing an aspiration to be a great personality. Now please tell me how do great people become great? You had a stream of photographs which came in here just before the commencement of this convocation. People who were the dignitaries in earlier convocations. And you consider them to be great. And there are also any number of other greater personalities. I did see a lot of photographs of people like APJ Abdul Kalam and so on. Now, if we consider all of them to be great, please tell me, what makes an individual great? It is not from the greater things or the great things that they do, but from the little things that they concentrate on. Remember, there are little things, the tiniest of the tiny things, that would accord greatness to one's personality. And as people belonging to the medical and the paramedical areas, these are the things that you and me should concentrate on. Small little words of thanks, small little gestures of understanding 
the person in front or around. Every time you travel in the escalator or the elevator, if there is going to be a person who is operating the elevator, remember to say a small word of thanks the moment you step out of the elevator. See the kind of greatness that it emanates. The way you communicate, the way you acknowledge. I'm sure most of you would be dealing with patience in your future times. Small little words of pleasantries that you exchange with your patients. Little words of communication. Little words of making them understand what the situation is. That would make you a great personality. I'm sure in the community there is always a kind of a label to a doctor or any healthcare professional. It goes like this, our Rasiana doctor, our Kairasikara doctor. Now, where does this Rasi come from? Not from your zodiac signs, not from your degrees, not from the kind of paraphernalia that you have. But the Rasi comes from the way you communicate. The Rasi comes from the care that you give to the other individual. Point number three. There are people who are sitting in the auditorium. There are also people sitting here on the desk. And it's very clear that people who are sitting here and probably even some of them who are on the first few rows belong to a slightly older age group. And there, all of you who belong to the younger age group, my question to you now is, how do you decide one's age? How do you decide one's age? I'm sure many of you would now be raking and trying to recollect all those jargon that goes along in various disciplines. I'm not here to ask you what is chronological age, what is biological age, what is IQ age, what is emotional age, and all that. I know you've crossed all that. My question is very simple. How do you determine one's age? It's very difficult. I have some of my very senior teachers here, and I do have some of my own students there. And it's very difficult from the physical appearance to say as to who is older or who is younger. And we are progressing into era of cosmetic surgeries where the biological age could well be camouflaged by techniques and procedures. So again, I go back to that very simple question for which there is only one simple answer. How do you determine one's age? Friends, please remember it is not your biological age. It is not your mental age. It is not all those parameters that would go into the determination. But it is only one single factor. Anybody with an open mind to learn is young. That is all it is. Someone with an open mind to learn further, be prepared to accept and learn, that determines the age. And at this point of time, on this day of convocation, I very, very sincerely wish that all of you remain as young as possible, all through your future. Point four. 
accept responsibilities as they come to you. Accept responsibilities. Kindly permit me to quote from my own lifetime experience. Way back, sometime in the 1990s, as a new entrant into the medical services of the state of Tamil Nadu, I was allocated to a hi-fi position in a particular committee. It was a coveted position. By designation, it was a coveted position. And having been allotted into that position much, much early in my career, you can imagine what would have been my feelings and sentiments at that point of time. The first day into that designation, I walk into the office concerned. There are also a few others who had been allotted into that particular office and position. So some of them come with their briefcases, some of them come with their you know, three-piece suits and neckties and so on, thinking that it's a very hi-fi designation. Fine, we go there, sit in the office, just about the first few minutes, and then somebody comes and says, can you start your work? And, you know, flying somewhere high, up in the air, we're going to start work now, new designation, new kind of work, the way everyone feels, you know, when you start something, you want to be the perfect person. So we said, fine, get us the work we'll do. One man walked in and he asked us a question, can I bring all that? We didn't know what that all that meant. What all that? Can I bring all that? We said yes, thinking it's some, you know, some work come. And those were pre-computer days. Computer had come in, but then not so much into the work system. Few minutes later, he walked in with two, three other people tagging along. And all of them brought huge gunny bags. I'm sure you would know, many of you would know what a gunny bag is. Huge gunny bags were brought in and they were all kept there in that posh office. And then those men who brought in those gunny bags told us, please open. The work that you have to do is open those envelopes and then place all those papers in order. That is all. Just imagine, equipped with MS and MD and MCH and so on, we go and sit there thinking it's a very coveted designation because the appointment order said it's something huge, huge, huge. And then we go sit there and somebody says, please, please open the envelopes and then place whatever papers inside in order. How do you feel about it? A few minutes later, the same men walked in again, brought some rubber stamps and gave it to us and said, you know, each of this is a kind of a franking machine. So you set the number of stamps that you require, seven stamps per set of papers, per bunch of papers. So you start stamping the date on these papers. The whole day through and for the next three months, we had to do only that job, set the franking machine for a particular number of franking stamps and then start, you know, whatever you call it, rubber stamp, chapa, whatever, whatever. This went on for about over 90 days. And today, looking back, 
I realize those 90 days were those times when I learned most of the administration that I can stand up for today. Madam Vice Chancellor was reading out so much, you know, I do not know if I fit into all that she read out, but then I'm sure if there is something worthwhile in what I am today, it is from those 90 day days when I learned the most mundane of the jobs, but then looking at them in a learning perspective. That gave me the best administrative experience that I've ever had. And that is why I say, accept whatever responsibility comes your way. Very many times we say, no, 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 I have no time. I have no mind, no, I have so much there, I have so much up my sleeve that I'll not be able to do this. My young friends, please do not shirk any responsibility that comes your way. Accept the responsibility and you would soon find the responsibility itself keeps pulling you up and takes you to where you deserve to be. And my last point for the day, rather a very humble request that I have to all the graduates, whichever discipline you belong to, remember a tree grows well, a tree gives more shade, a tree fruits well, when its roots are strong. Do not forget your roots. Your roots are the most important. Your roots have anchored you. Your roots have made you not wither away in a cyclone, but then stand stronger and stronger. Remember your parents for whatever they've contributed your siblings, your partners, your spouses, the members of your families, for all that they have contributed to what you are today. I'm sure if there is a brother here getting a degree, a sister there or a brother there would have contributed in some way or the other. At least give you the ambience to study. I'm sure the parents there, the guardians there, have sacrificed many things which you may not be aware of. Those sacrifices may not qualify to be large sacrifices. They may not qualify to get awards, but please remember those sacrifices have contributed to you to become what you are today. Remember your teachers. Remember all those who have brought you to this level. Normally, we tend to think teachers are, you know, personification of boredom. No. I'm sure those of them there would have spent so much of midnight oil to just come and do a class for you for 20 minutes or 40 minutes. They would have kept their children away. They would have kept their pleasures away and prepared to just give you that information which you think is so easy to access. No, it is not. It is all their toiling. Remember your teachers wherever you go, whatever you are, at whatever position you ascend to. That is my very humble request. Remember your parents. Remember all those who have contributed for your betterment. Remember your teachers. And last but not the least, remember this country of yours which has made you what you are. 
remember this country whatever you are go to whichever country go even to another constellation go to another planet go to another constellation whatever you are remember this land has given you the name and the fame with those remarks and request i would like to once again congratulate all the graduates of the day may the almighty shower all blessings on you and may you acquire whatever you aspire for congratulations once again and my very sincere pranams and congratulations to all the parents here neenga unga kolandhaingala eppadi ella paakanon aasa pattirkeengalo அந்த லெவலில் இன்றைக்கி கொண்டு வந்து நிறுத்தி இருக்கீங்க அதற்கு என்னுடைய சிரம்தாழ்ந்த வணக்கங்கள் சிரம்தாழ்ந்த நன்றிகள் கங்க்ராச்சுலேஷன்ஸ் அண்ட் ஆல் தி பெஸ்ட் Let the candidates be now presented. Madam Chancellor, I present unto you these candidates who have been awarded Raja Muthaya and Sigapi Achi Awards for proficiency in the Faculty of Medicine, Faculty of Helaid Health Sciences, Faculty of Nursing, Faculty of Law, to be presented by the chief guest raja muthaya award for proficiency in md anesthesiology dr aruna manaswini first class topper for proficiency in md community medicine dr shiny miraclin first class topper for proficiency in md general medicine dr arun pandian p first class topper for proficiency in md pediatrics dr spurti choudhury first class topper for proficiency in md pathology dr priyadarshini k first class topper for proficiency in md psychiatry dr pradeep sankar ksr topper for proficiency in md radio diagnosis dr narmada da first class with distinction for proficiency in md respiratory medicine dr george roshan prashant d first class topper
for proficiency in MS General Surgery, Dr. Raja Kirtana D, first class topper. For proficiency in MS Ophthalmology, Dr. Minu Lakshmi R, first class topper. For proficiency in MS Orthopedics, Dr. Umale Rushikesh Hari, first class topper. For proficiency in MSc Allied Health Sciences, Echocardiography and Cardiovascular Imaging Technology, Yashini Karunya C, first class with distinction. For proficiency in MSc Counseling Psychology, Muhil Araki RV, first class with distinction. For proficiency in MBBS, Santini Ajay, overall topper. <laughs> For proficiency in BSc Allied Health Sciences, current D, first class with distinction. For proficiency in BSc, Medical Genetics, Neha NR, first class with distinction. <laughs> For proficiency in Bachelor of Law, Honors, Aditi Shanmugam, first class with distinction. Sigepi Archi Award for Proficiency in BSc Nursing, Jyotika K, first class with distinction. Thank you. Madam Chancellor, I present unto you these candidates who have been awarded Dr. K. Rosia Endowment Award for proficiency in the prize examination, Faculty of Nursing and University Medals for Toppers in the MBBS subjects in the Faculty of Medicine to be presented by the Chief Guest. K. Jyotika, Dr. K. Rosia Endowment Medal. University Medal Toppers in Individual MBBS Subjects, Shantini Ajay, four medals, Biochemistry, Forensic Medicine, OG, OT.
Nashita Navarin, Anatomy and Surgery. Vignesh Yes, Microbiology and Pathology. <laughs> Shruti Rajiv, Physiology including Biophysics. Amirta Jian, Pharmacology. Anshur Siam, Ophthalmology. Rajiv Ye, Medicine. <laughs> Brenuka Leela, Pediatrics including Neonatology. Thank you. Madam Chancellor, I present unto you these candidates who have been certified by duly approved examiners to be qualified to receive the PhD degree in the Faculty of Medicine, Faculty of Allied Sciences, and Faculty of Nursing in person to be presented by the Chancellor. Dr. Vinoda Kumar, HR in Medical Biochemistry, PhD, Philosophy of Health. Dr. Dwarevelu, M. in Pharmacology. <laughs> Dr. Vidya, R. in Medical Microbiology. Dr. Susitra A. in Echocardiography and Cardiovascular Imaging Technology. Dr. J. Ganeshan in Medical Biotechnology. Dr. Subhulakshmi in nursing. On behalf of myself, as well as a board of member, I congratulate all these candidates, please.
Madam Chancellor, I present unto you these candidates who have been certified by duly appointed examiners to be qualified to receive the postgraduate super speciality degree in the Faculty of Medicine, be admitted to the degree in person to be presented by the Chancellor. Faculty of Medicine, DM Cardiology, Dr. S. Ganesh. Dr. S. D. Jonaguru. <laughs> DM Neurology, Dr. Setipalli Saravan Pramod. Thank you very much, ma'am. Madam Chancellor, I present unto you 84 candidates who have been certified by duly appointed examiners to be qualified to receive the MD and MS degrees in the Faculty of Medicine be admitted to the degree in person. Madam Chancellor, I present unto you 137 candidates who have been certified by duly appointed examiners to be qualified to receive the MBBS degree in the Faculty of Medicine be admitted to the degree in person. Thank you. Madam Chancellor, I present unto you 183 candidates who have been certified by duly appointed examiners to be qualified to receive the two-year MPT and MSc, BSc Allied Health Sciences and three-year BSc degree in the Faculty of Physiotherapy and Faculty of Allied Health Sciences be admitted to the degree in person. Madam Chancellor, I present unto you 91 candidates who have been certified by duly appointed examiners to be qualified to receive the B.Sc. Nursing and post-basic B.Sc. Nursing degree in the Faculty of Nursing be admitted to the degree in person. Thank you. Madam Chancellor, I present unto you seven candidates who have been certified by duly appointed examiners to be qualified to receive the Master of Laws and Bachelor of Laws Honours Degree in the Faculty of Law be admitted to a degree in person. Thank you. Madam Chancellor, under the laws of the university, I present unto you 96 candidates to be admitted in absentia to the PhD, MCH, MD, MS, PG Diploma in Clinical Embryology, MBBS, MSc, BSc, in the Doctor of Philosophy, Faculty of Medicine, Faculty of Allied Health Sciences, and Faculty of Nursing, for which the candidates are declared to be qualified. Thank you. Let all the candidates stand up and take the pledge.
we shall in thought, word and deed be ever honest in the discharge of our duties and shall uphold the dignity and integrity of our profession the honor and name of our university and our alma mater. We pledge to uphold and advance social order and the well-being of our fellow members. And shall devote all our energy to promote the unity integrity and secular idea of our country. We swear to sincerity, we swear to sincerely endeavor to serve all those who need our services to the best of our ability. without any consideration of caste, creed, or status. By the virtue of the authority vested in me as the Chancellor of the Chetinad Academy of Research and Education, I admit you and those presented in absentia to the respective degrees of the various faculties for which you have been declared qualified. By this, qualified by this university and in token thereof, I authorize you to wear the robes ordained as an insignia of your qualifications. I dissolve this convocation. National anthem. Janagana mana adhinayaka jayahe Bharat bhagya vidhata Punjab Sindh Gujarat Maratha Dravida Utkala Vanga Himachal Yamuna Ganga Uchala Jaladhitaranga Tava Shubha Name Jage Tava Shubha Ashisha Mage Dahe Tava Jaya Gatha Janagana Mangana Dayak Jaya He Bharat Bhagya Vidhata Jaya He, Jaya He, Jaya He, Jaya 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 He.
has organized a farewell lunch for all the graduates at the place proceeding to the Sigapiachi Convention Center. And we wholeheartedly invite all the graduates and the accompanying visitor for the same. Request the remaining graduates, UG and PG of all streams, to assemble back after lunch at Sigapiachi Convention Center Auditorium to receive their respective degrees at 2 p.m. After obtaining their degree and leaving the hall, the graduates should return the academic robes to the counter from where they received without fail. Thank you. Request the remaining graduates, UG and PG of all streams to assemble back after lunch at Sigapi Archie Convention Center Auditorium to receive their respective degrees at 1.30 p.m.
डॉक्टर राग लिखित डॉक्टर रिहाब यासिर डॉक्टर सुधा प्रसाद रेड्डी डॉक्टर विघ्नेश राम मूविंग ऑन टू एम डी पीडियाट्रिक्स डॉक्टर अरुण गीदन डॉक्टर जेनसीमा डॉक्टर राघवि ए डॉक्टर रुफीना जे सुजिता डॉक्टर सुजिता एन एम डी पैथोलॉजी डॉक्टर गायत्री देवी एस डॉक्टर जेन बेटी आइसेक डॉक्टर नवीन कुमार जी एम डी फार्मकोलॉजी मूविंग ऑन टू एम डी साइकैट्री डॉक्टर अर्षदीप कौर डॉक्टर श्री चैतन्य मूविंग ऑन टू एम डी रेस्पिरेटरी मेडिसिन डॉक्टर भूपति एस डॉक्टर शांतलूरी पूजित एम एस जनरल सर्जरी डॉक्टर अभिनय कार्तिकेयन डॉक्टर अरविंद कुमार के आर डॉक्टर जयस्त्री जे महालक्ष्मी डॉक्टर महालक्ष्मी नेक्स्ट डॉक्टर साई शिवराम वरप्रसाद डॉक्टर वेंकट अखिलेश डॉक्टर वेंकट प्रणय एम एस 
MS Obstetrics and Gynecology, Dr. Anu Bhargavi. Dr. Mahati B. Dr. Meetangi Agarwal. Clapping is good, so you can keep cheering your friends. Dr. Nandini S. Dr. Priyanka R. Dr. Rizwana A. Sharon. Dr. Sharon Almash. Okay. Moving on to MS Ophthalmology, Dr. Hina, Dr. Lavan Kumar, Dr. Vignita. MS Orthopedics, Dr. Vibhishek Raj. MS Autorhinolaryngology, Dr. Gunakirtana R. Dr. Shweta T. MD Radio Diagnosis, Dr. Nikhil Murgadas. Dr. Pedro P. Dr. Satya Narayan and V. Dr. Vinit R. Dr. Sai Vinisha K. PG diploma. So that finishes MD and MS. So we are moving on to the next course. MBBS. Dr. Gautam. Shivani KM Surya Balaji Surya Balaji R Surya Balaji R Surya 
பரணி சுந்தரம் பரணி சுந்தர் எஸ் அஜய் ஹரிசேகர் எஸ் ஹரிஷ் வி ஜனனி ஏ ஜனார்தன் எம் எஸ் பூஜா பிரியா ஆர் பிரியங்கா ஏ சந்தோஷ் சந்தோஷ் குமார் எம் சித்தார்த் பி ட்ரினி டிவோட்டா விக்ரம் விக்ரம் பிரசன்னா சையத் வசீம் அகமத் அபிஷேக் ஆர் அக்சா ஜி ஆதர்ஷ் ஜே எல் ஐஸ்வர்யா ஏ அகிலாண்டேஸ்வரி கே அக்ஷய மகாலட்சுமி அலாக்கா பி அலமு டி அமிர்தா ஜி என் அன்பரசி எஸ் விஜய் சங்கர் அனுஷ்கா எஸ் அன்விதா சிங் அரவிந்த் கார்த்திக் அரீப் அஹமத் ஆர்த்தி எம் ஏ அருள் சாமியல் ஜோஸ் அஸ்வத்தா அஸ்வத் ராஜ் பி அ 
Ashwini P. Basava Aradhya. Bharati Raman. Bharati Raman. Bincy David. Darshan. Darshan P. Dev Aditya Singh. Devarapalli Sai Saranya. Devi Shri V. Darini R. Divya. Divya U. Fatima. Fazilla Parveen. Meghna. Ganesh Nath. George Koshi Guru Priya Guru Priya Harish Nitin Indumati K.S. Jai Shri. Jai Shri. Selva Priya. Selva Priya. Jovan Joseph Kamaleshwari Kamaleshwari Kannamai Kavya Venkatesan Krutika Shri S Krutika V Kushal Shri Kushal Shri Lakshmi Priya K. Lavanya S.
மதுமிதா நந்தகுமார் மால்னி எஸ் கே மனோஜ் குமார் மேரி ஜோஸ்பின் மேகா பி Mohammed Mohsin Mohammed Ishaq Mohammed Rafi Muskan Nagamalya Nashita Naureen நெல்லக்குடிட்டி வெண்ணலா ஒளியரசி பத்மஸ்ரீ பல்லவி பி பபிதா எம் பூஜா பி பிரபஞ்சன் பிரார்த்தனா ஆர்பி பிரவீன் பி பூர்வஜா எம் ராம பாரதி கே ரவீனா வாசகம் ரூபேஷ் ரூபேஷ் ஆர் சாகரிகா எஸ் வி சச்சின் குமார் எம் சஞ்சனா பூர்ணகலா சபேசன் Sharmita Pal Sarveshwari Selva Kumar M Sarveshwari 
Shagina M. Sharanya P. Sharat S. P. Shivanand S. Shraddha Gupta. Shri Varshni. Shri Varshini R. Shruti R. Shruti S. Shubhu Shruti. Shweta Sundar Rajan. Shweta Sundar Rajan. Sindhana A. Shri Raga Sambhavi. Shri Nidhi P. Shruti Rajiv. Subha Varshini M. Sudarshan S. Sugita K. Surya S. Sushmita Prabhu. Tamil T. Tarun M. V. Tota Bindu. Trishi Mehta. Uma Maheshwari. Padmavati. Vignesh A. S. P. Vignesh T. Vijay Adityan A. Vishnu Nalinakshan. Anuhya. Anuhya. Yoga Prithi Vana. Yoga Vana. 
ಯೋಗ ಪ್ರೀತಿ ಎಸ್ ರೋಹಿನ್ ಸನಾತನ್ ರೋಹಿನ್ ಸನಾತನ್ ಸರ್ಟಿಫಿಕೇಟ್ಸ್ ಅಂದರೆ ಸಿ ಜಸ್ಟ್ ಸರ್ಟಿಫಿಕೇಟ್ ಜಸ್ಟ್ ಯು ಜಸ್ಟ್ ವೇಟ್ ಯು ವಿಲ್ ಗೆಟ್ ಯುವರ್ ಡಿಸ್ಕೌಂಟ್ ಓಕೆ ಯು ಆರ್ ರೋಹಿನ್ ಸನಾತನ್ ರೋಹಿನ್ ಸನಾತನ್ ಶಫೀಕ್ ಮೊಹಮ್ಮದ್ ನಿಲೋಫ ಫಿಸಿಯೋಥೆರಪಿ moving on to master of physiotherapy in orthopedic physiotherapy gayatri k just one student here and then we go on to law bachelor of law honors jona esther neela me neela vati s ಸುಂದರ್ ಎನ್ ಮಾಸ್ಟರ್ ಆಫ್ ಲಾಸ್ ಅರುಣ್ ಶೇಖರ್ ಪ್ರವೀಣ್ ಕುಮಾರ್ vigneshwaran now we move on to faculty of allied health sciences ah. bsc allied health sciences abdul kalam s abinaya n anushya t archana a avinash r 
बालसूदन एम बिउला ब्लेसिबा कार्लिन अकिला क्रिस्टीना जॉर्ज देविका आर धनश्री वी दिव्या एम दिव्या आर गायत्री बी गोमती एस हर्षन हर्षवर्धिनी इमराना एल इनियावान सी जयप्रिया जे जयप्रिया एस जितेंद्र कुमार जोस मारिया प्रिंसी कलईवानी एल कमल आरसू पी करण डी कारिश कारमेला कैरोलिन सुमित्रा कृष्णप्रिया टी कोकिला डी कौशिक कुमार एन लोकेश्वरी के मोहम्मद मुजाहिद नवीना एन निर्मला एस पद्मा प्रिया ए प्रेम कुमार आर प्रियदर्शिनी एस रामिया एन रीना चौहान रोगिनी प्रिया ए
रोशन साजी रोशन वासन वी सबीता एम सहाना टी समुवेल राज एस सरन्या बी सरन्या एम शशि कुमार वी सेंदिल नादन एस सेतु रमन एस शालिनी डी शालिनी एम शालिनी पी शालिनी एस सिद्धार्थ वी श्री विद्या एम शुभश्री डी सुभाषिनी डी सुष्मिता एम तारीख अहमद बी वहीता बानु ए वर्षा एम वर्षा एस वर्षना एस विमला पी विनोदिनी एम विष्णु कुमार वी विष्णु प्रिया पीसी यदु कृष्णा पी योगेश एम नाउ फॉर बी एस सी काउंसिलिंग साइकोलॉजी अमांडा डोरोती दीपिका सी दुर्गा लक्ष्मी एम हेम प्रिया आर मित्रा 
बी निवेदा एस रीना एम शांति प्रिया जी सुधा सी नाउ फॉर बी एस सी मेडिकल बायो नैनो टेक्नोलॉजी बालाजी एस अनुमोल रामिया श्री धीरेन श्रीकांत हरीश बाबू एस लक्षणा वी के नाम्बरी कल्याणी निवेदा ए पी लक्ष्मी प्रसन्ना नाउ बी एस सी मेडिकल बायोटेक्नोलॉजी हरिणी पी एलिस एलिजाबेथ एस दर्शना वी ग्लोरी डी गोकुलनाथ ए हाना एलिजाबेथ not saying came late okay many are there like that hepsiba greslin just to open with this sir kamal sir one small announcement sorry to disturb those who have not signed in this degree certificate uh, uh, list please come and sign and then only you can leave the hall Hana Elizabeth Aishwarya R Jayashri A Kandula Yoganand Keetana S Malela Lakshmi श्वेता एस वी स्वर्णमुगी पी तरन्या एम उम्मोल मक्सुमैया उप निहांती A small announcement: MBBS students, Rohan, Shafiq, and Ilofer, who have not received, please come to the stage. You announce now. Okay. Now, BSc Medical Genetics, Akshaya P, Asha Anandi A.
बालाजी ई सिबिल ए गोकुल कन्ना नेम हरिणी एम कीर्तना मोल जे मनोज एम मुतरामन ए आर मायदिन नौफाल आर नवीन कुमार पी नेहा फिलिप पवित्रा ए शिवरंजनी एस स्नेहा आर आर सुष्मिता एम ताटिकोंड जानवी विशाल कन्नन ई यस मैम दे रिटन साइन दे केम लेट दैट्स व्हाट आई अनाउंस्ड स्टूडेंट्स एज स्टूडेंट्स अगेन आई एम रिपीटिंग प्लीज डोंट लीव द हॉल अंटिल यू साइन इन दिस लिस्ट Mm. Yes, sure. MSc AHS Eco Cardiography Anit uh, Joy Rebecca S Kaylin Martina J. You didn't sign, sir. Many didn't sign. This is what, sir? How will I understand? MSc AHS Radiology Karan S Prasant Prasant Madhavan MSc Cardiac Technology Divya Lakshmi V Saral Mercy Vishali V MSc Clinical Research and Experimental Medicine, Gayatri N. Kalaiwani R. What is your name? Lavanya E. Clinical research, yes. Gayatri N. Kalaiwani. Lavanya E. Vaibhavi Patil. MSc Counseling Psychology. Anjana C R Annie Priyadarshini Charumati M C Chitra J J Gopal 
गायत्री देवी आर जेनिफर एस जोसलिन फेमिल्दा जे महालक्ष्मी एस मोनिका ए पोन रति एस रोजी जे श्री स्वाति शिवदर्शिनी एम एस सी ह्यूमन न्यूट्रिशन हरिता एन जय भारती के साई तारणी ए एम एस सी मेडिकल बायो नानो टेक्नोलॉजी कविता श्री ए प्रियदर्शिनी यू तिरुमलई ए एम एस सी मेडिकल बायो टेक्नोलॉजी ऐश्वर्या एस हरिणी हरिणी ई लक्ष्मी पी वी प्रेमा सी संध्या ई शुरफा एम के श्रीनिवासन पी श्वेता वी विनीता ई एम एस सी मेडिकल जेनेटिक्स आरती वाई एरिका केट्रियल डी माका लक्ष्मी एम के मर्लिना जैस्मीन आर नंदिनी एम शक्ति देवी आर श्रुति एन आर एम एस सी परफ्यूशन टेक्नोलॉजी शेख शबाना एम एस सी रेडियोलॉजी एंड इमेजिंग टेक्नोलॉजी नीलोफर रोज एस 
एमएससी रीनल डायलिसिस टेक्नोलॉजी पवित्रा आर सुषमा प्रियदर्शिनी एमएससी रेस्पिरेटरी केयर टेक्नोलॉजी गौशल्या पी एमएससी टिश्यू इंजीनियरिंग एंड रिजेनरेटिव मेडिसिन सिंथिया सी मोनिशा के शालोम हेपसीबा सर साइनिंग दरन दरन गुड इवनिंग लेट अस मूव ऑन टू बीएससी नर्सिंग प्रोग्राम दरनी एस अभिषेक पॉल रवि आकाश जे आरती एस अपर्णा टी अभिषेक ए अबिता डी अजय वी अनिता पी अरीवन एम अर्जुन एस अरुण टीएम 
Volunteers. Baby Shalini B. Balaji B. Balaji S. Bhuvaneshwari S. Bonigam Vasanda Madhuri. Chandru Chella. Deepika R.K. Dinagaran R. Durai P. Felix Figo H. Gayatri K. Gomati R. Harini K. Harish Shagaran RJ. Harish S. Janani R. Jasmine J. Jay Surya P. Jay Priya A. Jay Shri G. Jabamalar Ashnath T. Jeeva R. Jodha Chandra Tangjam. Jodhika K. Kamalesh R. Karmugilan S. Kirtana J. Kirpanidhi R. Kishor K. Kritika P. Kushbu V. Lavanya B. Madhumita B. 
लिबिन राजा आर बी लोकेश्वरी एस मधुमिता वी मोनिका के नरेंद्र प्रसाद मई दिली डी नैन्सी जे नीतीश कुमार नरेंद्र प्रसाद एस नीतिया नवीन बी नीतीश कुमार एम नित्या बी निवेता पी पवित्र पद्मश्री नरपवी बी पवित्र पद्मावती डी प्रकाश पवित्रा पी पवित्रनो जे प्रवीणा पन्मुडी एस प्रकाश डी प्रवीणा एस प्रेमनाथ एम प्रिंस ने कुमार आर प्रियदर्शनी एम शक्ति के शक्ति राज दुरै के संजय पी सैक्सिन रियास एक्स शक्ति के संध्या पी संजय पी सारा एल सरण्या के सतीश के सेवग पांडियन एम शिवरंजनी शीना वी एस स्नेहा देव किरुबई आर 
சிவரஞ்சனி கே ஸ்னேகா கே சூரிய பிரகாஷ் ஆர் தமிழரசி எஸ் திரிபுர சுந்தரி பாஸ்கர் உதயசூரியன் எம் வந்தனா வி எஸ் வெற்றி செல்வி ஜி வினிதா வி வினோத் பி யாமினி கே எஸ் யோகலட்சுமி வி போஸ்ட் பேசிக் பெனிட்டா பி Thank you. அதரம் மதுரம் வதனம் மதுரம் நயனம் மதுரம் அசிதம் மதுரம் ஹயம் மதுரம் கமனம் மதுரம் மதுராதிபதி ரகிரம் மதுரம் மதுரம் 